How to make five most popular stir fry sauces. Hello, my foodies. This is Cici here, and today we're going to make five most popular stir fry sauces. And with these five sauces, you can literally make all kinds of Asian dishes, mostly Chinese, of course. You can also make a lot at the same time and then store them up in your fridge or your freezer. Whenever you need to cook something, you just take the portion that you need out and then just cook it up. So you can make the whole cooking process a lot faster and easier. Let's get started. The first sauce is brown sauce. You can use it to cook all kinds of Chinese dishes. And each of the following sauce can be made into one large dinner plate. And it can be shared between two to three people. If you want to make a lot of this brown sauce at the same time, um, here's another tip for you. You can also add a little ginger, scallions, and garlic in the sauce to infuse it. The taste of the sauce will be a lot stronger and there will be a more aromas to it. You can store it in the fridge for up to a week. You can store it in the freezer for several months. Here is another note about adding cornstarch slurry. You can add it now into the sauce or you can add it directly when you're doing the stir fry. The good thing about adding it now is that it is more convenient and the good thing about adding it later when you're actually cooking it is that the proportion might be more accurate. So you might be wondering what can you use this brown sauce for? You can use it in all kinds of dishes like I just said. You can use it in lao mian, um, chao fen, beef and broccoli, basically anything you can imagine. And the second sauce here is General Chow's. So you might be wondering, how do you use these sauces? Here's what you can do. When you do the stir fry, you can add a little oil, stir fry your protein first, and then after it's fully cooked, take it out, set aside. And then add a little more oil, Add the vegetables and stir fry until it is softened. Uh, you can also add your herbs here. Take it out and set aside. Now we can pour the sauce into your pan or your wok. Cook until it is thickened. Transfer back the protein and the vegetables. Give it a good mix and that's it. If you like, you can also add the garlic and the chilies when you're cooking. You can use this sauce to cook anything. General Chow's chicken, General Chow's eggplant, General Chow's tofu. Now we're going to make teriyaki sauce. So in this bowl, we're going to add a little soy sauce. Mirin. It is a type of rice wine. Sake. Honey, minced garlic, chicken stock, and cornstarch slurry. You can add the cornstarch slurry directly into the sauce or do it when you're stir frying. Honey sesame sauce. In this bowl, we're going to add soy sauce, oyster sauce, rice wine, rice vinegar, honey. Roasted white sesame seeds, chicken stock. cornstarch slurry. So this is a really great sauce for sesame chicken, sesame beef, sesame vegetables. And if you're a vegan, you don't want to add oyster sauce, that's totally fine. The last sauce for today is a sweet and sour sauce. Mmm, I love this sauce. So in this bowl, we're going to add salt, rice vinegar, 
ketchup, sugar, chicken stock, and cornstarch slurry. There's so many different ways to cook this sauce. You can use it for chicken, pork, fish, or all kinds of vegetables for it. So that's it for today. If there's any sauce that you love and I didn't mention it today, comment below and share with me. So remember to subscribe, thumbs up. I'll see you again in the next episode. Remember to share. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Bye now.